So, yesterday was day two of the reno and refurb and didn't quite get as much done as we wanted, but we did get some done. Let's go take a look. Show you what all I got completed. Now, I mean, I say I, but I've had some significant help and I cannot say thank you enough. So yesterday we saw all this. Huh? Goodbye carpet. Goodbye silly stuff. Now, we also came across some pretty interesting stuff. All right, so as we move into the dining room, you see this? Yeah, we started stripping this down to the plaster. There's about three or four layers of um, wallpaper that is actually underneath two or three layers of paint. So we kind of started over here because we stripped that old wallpaper that was here. And then we're like, well, we know there's wallpaper over here. Let's try and strip a little bit of it and see if we can just get everything off. And well, it turned into a lot. So the project is the project now and here we go. However, we did find something really cool. So I started stripping over on this side. Started stripping on this side. And then this happened. Now let's drywall. Drywall didn't get used a lot until uh, the 50s or so, 40s. And this house was built in 1901, so that shouldn't be there. That's weird. So we started to take a look. And we found this. Now when we look at this, we found that it goes to uh, plaster right here. And then this wood is an old wood. And it's an actual two by four. Not like the new ones that are nominals, which are um, one and a half by three and a half, which are these. So in 1964, if I was, my research was right, was when wood turned to this. So sometime after 64, this happened. However, when we go down here, we see this outlet. And three prong outlets were required in 71 or 72. So my guess is this happened sometime in between 64 and 70. And so what was here? We were trying to figure that out. We started taking some looks up in there. Then we came over here with these pocket doors and looked up and there's very similar hardware. So at some point there was over here, another pocket door. So that would open up into this wall. So then you would have an open space. And I kept saying that this space behind me didn't make a whole lot of sense because it's just weird and it's not open and from an architectural standpoint, even for an old house, it doesn't make sense. So when I did that and I saw that and I was like, oh man, now if I want to put this in, I've got to have a door. And that's a weird door. The door's gonna be like five feet wide or so. But I remembered something and I didn't show you guys the basement yesterday. So I'll show it to you now. Um, doo -doo -doo, basement time. All right, so here's our basement. I right, see this cool foundation and everything else. And you see that door right there? Well, that's not five feet wide, but this one is, eh, which kind of sucks because they cut it right there. But it at least tells me or shows me what it should have looked like and what it was. It also gives me that hardware. So this will probably come off at some point. I'll have to make a uh, door or have someone make me a door. And then uh, maybe I can find whatever it was that hung this or I'll have to order some. But anyways, so the basement didn't show it to you guys yesterday. Um, but anyways, here it is. All right, so we've got this little room right here. Let's see if I can get a light on, there we go. All right, and then this room's actually kind of finished. Um, I've got a couple of Astro bands, so the seats are down here right now because that's what we're using to, as our utility vehicles to transport everything, right? And then over here, um, somebody started to rough in a bathroom, right? 
So very Korean here, uh, or Asian if you've ever been over there, uh, in that you've got a bathroom and then for some odd reason they decided a toilet was a good idea right here. I don't know why, but they did that. So anyways, uh, there's some other goodies here. Uh, finding that door down here was a huge find. And I think really cool to show the history of the house and how it's changed and whatnot. So still trying to figure that out. So let's go upstairs and take a look at what we got done yesterday. So there was stupid flooring laminate right here. It's now gone. Um, so hopefully we can get some sort of floor sander and do that at some point. Same thing over here, that stupid laminate is gone. Definitely gonna need a floor sander, maybe to replace the floors or tile it. Goodbye carpet. So these floors actually look like they're in pretty decent shape. A couple of holes or maybe something was added. Somebody's trying to reach something at the bottom, maybe not electrical, whatever. Now, the one that we're trying to figure out what to do with at the moment is this one. So we pulled the carpet up. And this one used to be, when this place was a triplex, this used to be a bathroom. So it's got laminate on it. So I need to figure out if we're gonna to try to put hardwood down or tile it. I'm kinda of leaning towards tile. I like tile, I think it's cool. But I don't know, it doesn't really fit the aesthetic of the house a lot, I think. And it's definitely probably not period correct, or at least to do tile that is period correct would be a lot more work. So anyways, that was kind of the, the stuff we got done yesterday, we're really working hard to figure out and get these techniques of uh, getting this paint and this wallpaper off so we can do it. Oh, so I started to strip the wood that is this, and I came across this. And it's not really, let me see if I can get it to come out on the camera. Or if I can light it, I don't know. Anyways. It's actually this really, really pretty red under there. So I'm gonna try to strip it down and get to that. But that was yesterday, working on these techniques. Got some new gear and equipment to do it. Um, we used a steamer for a bunch of the old paper, or wallpaper and a heat gun to get the initial latex paint off um, for now. So hopefully tomorrow we'll see where we're at. But anyways, that's the update. Thanks.